Have you seen YouTube videos or TV advertisements by Matthew Lesko? He's the guy who's wearing these crazy colorful suits, these crazy eyeglasses, which tell you that there's free money available from the government. Is he a scam or is this legitimate? That's what this video is going to answer. My name is Michelle Downey. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel, I talk about affiliate marketing and other ways you can earn passive income online. I'm making this video on a request from a comment from one of my subscribers. Matthew Lesko, scam or legitimate? Let's get started. I've been watching Matthew Lesko, I want to say most of my life. He's around 80 years old right now. So I've seen him in various stages of his life, but every time I've seen him, he's always wearing a very crazy suit, usually with lots of question marks on it. It's very colorful. And I've noticed recently he's uh, been changing up his eyeglass frames as well. Matthew Lesko is someone who tells you that you can get free money from the government. It's all just sitting there waiting for you to apply for it. And I've been a bit skeptical about this, I have to admit. I looked first to find articles about Matthew Lesko. What are the opinions out there? What are some of the ratings that Matthew Lesko has? So here are some of the articles that I found. These articles claim that the information that Matthew Lesko is telling you about that you can get for free. You don't have to pay a subscription to his service. They also mention that he has a very low rating from the Better Business Bureau. So I wanted to do a bit more digging to find out for myself. I went on to Amazon.com. He has a lot of books <laughs> that are bestsellers and some that haven't sold at all. One way that you can tell whether or not a book has sold is by how many reviews it has. Usually the more reviews it has, the more it's sold because the reviews want to tell other people that you should also buy this book. So you can see that he hasn't published a book in a while. Some of his older books did have very good sales. One of them was a New York Times bestseller, but some of his more recent books have not done very well. Some have less than two reviews on them. Although I can tell you that his businesses right now have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, they have not been accredited by the Better Business Bureau. So I would take this information with a bit of grain of salt, for lack of a better phrase to use. I think this is really important to remember that although the articles I found said that he had a negative rating with the Better Business Bureau, you can't trust everything you see on the internet. You do have to do a bit of digging yourself. I then went on to figure out how I could get involved in his program. I thought this would be one of the best ways to find out what's going on. There are three subscription plans he's currently offering on a monthly basis. The first one is $19.95 for one month. The second one is $9.98 per month for a six month subscription or you can get a one-year subscription of $8.30 per month. I went ahead and signed up for the $19.95 option. I didn't want to get myself involved for too long because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Once you sign up for the subscription and pay for it, you then get invited into the Lesco Help kind of website. It's the best way to describe it. You can also go on to the Facebook group. However, the Lesco Help site is where you're going to find most of the information. On this site, you'll be encouraged to create a profile. You'll also get access to various documents and access to his different YouTube videos based on what kind of information you're looking for. You can specifically say what kind of information you want. Is it help with a business? Is it help with definite bills, uh, debt relief, is it help with housing, is it help with real estate, depending on which section you join, that will then guide you to which documents to download and which YouTube videos to watch. No matter which section you join, the coaches are definitely going to encourage you to download the mega grant document and also the mini report per state. 
When I downloaded these documents and started going through them, I figured out that a lot of the grants that they were talking about were COVID related and also very specific to getting grants for, let's say, low income families, um, also information about how to get your credit report fixed, also information about how to not fall for scams about getting your credit report fixed. For me, there are a lot of red flags with the LESCO program. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. First red flag is that this is a paid subscription service. This information is free. You just have to find it on your own. And that was something that the original articles I looked at definitely spoke to. Will it take you time to find this information on your own? Yes, you're gonna to have to use Google, probably use ChatGPT, uh, probably maybe go on to Facebook and ask some questions, but the information is out there. Another one of the red flags for me is that a lot of the information is out of date. It had to do with COVID relief, which is pretty much done by now. Also, the websites it pointed me to, the ones I was able to connect to, even though I was overseas, told me that that website no longer existed or that it had bundled itself into a different website. For example, he suggests that you go to different websites where you can do crowdfunding, like GoFundMe. GoFundMe is definitely the biggest and most popular one out there. There were other websites that he cited in the document like yourcause.com and GoFundMe has actually bought up that website. It's now part of GoFundMe. So it pointed you, it looked like to six different websites to do crowdfunding, but when you went on to at least three of them, you figured out that GoFundMe had already bought them out. Another red flag for me, which was in the articles, is that the federal government isn't giving money to individuals. And that's what I think his advertisements make it seem is going to happen, that you apply to the federal government and they're going to give you the money. The federal government in the budget that it does every year is actually giving the money to local or state agencies, where then people who live in those states can take advantage of them. You have to then apply on that local or state level. You are going to have to do a lot of phone calling. It's something that he talks about once you're in the LESCO help group. He encourages you to pretty much stay on the phone for hours on end, talking to different government agencies and not asking for a grant, but asking, how can you help me based on this circumstance? And then supposedly the local or state agency is going to point you to what kind of programs they have available. So another red flag is that this is pretty much going to be your new part-time job. You could spend 10 hours plus a week on the phone with different government agencies trying to find out what you could or may not qualify for. The next red flag for me was that some of the information provided was about loans. I don't suggest you take out loans. I don't want you to go into debt. So there's information in the documents about how to get, could be a low interest loan, but it's still a loan and also how to get a job. Some of the jobs that were highlighted in the documents were DoorDash, being an Amazon driver, also other online remote um, websites that you could go on to in order to get um, emergency income is what they're calling it. This might be eligible for some. I actually do talk on my channel about different ways you can earn money online by using some of these websites. However, for me, because what the advertisement really is about is getting grant money, it seems odd to me that he's talking about going out there and getting loans and also getting jobs. Also, when you ask a question, even though your question is going to be answered, sometimes the answer is only going to be to go to X document or to go to X YouTube video. I also saw a lot of comments in the forum uh, from people who were very frustrated because they had posted questions and not gotten a reply. Finally, you need to remember that this money isn't free. This money is from the federal government, which means it's coming from our tax dollars that you're already paying to the system or borrowings of the federal government. As most of us know, 
our, the U.S. government is trillions, I think now, dollars in debt. Uh, so the money, not free money, <laughs> has to come from somewhere. And the money is being federally funded through your tax dollars. One of the pros for me is that the LESCO community is very helpful. You can ask a question, which gets answered by the coaches, it seems, fairly quickly. Also can get answered by other members of the community if you're very specific about what state you're from and what information you're looking for. There are other people in the community who will point you in the right direction. Also, Lesko himself is giving away money. So he has uh, three different programs you can apply for once a month, and you can apply every month for these. So there's a $60,000 giveaway, there's a $15,000 car repair giveaway, and a $20,000 home repair giveaway. And you don't always win all of the money. You can win, like, say, $500 or $1,000. So it's given out in different increments. The other giveaway that he has is 25 laptops that he's giving away every What's month. What's the final verdict? Is this a scam or is it legitimate? It's definitely not a scam. These are legitimate programs that are available from the government. They're not available from the federal government, which is what I think the information is a bit misleading in the advertisements. The money is given from the federal government to a local or state agency, and then you need to apply for it. I hope you found this information helpful. I would recommend you check out the Matthew Lesko YouTube channel and then decide whether or not you want to go ahead and pay for the subscription to the group. I think a lot of the information is available for free on YouTube on his channel. And like I also mentioned, the information is available for free on the internet if you ask Google or ChatGPT the right questions or just call your local or state agencies and ask them what kind of programs they have available based on your circumstances. Please remember to like and subscribe, and please put in the comments below if you have someone else you want me to check out, whether it's someone who's on YouTube or a specific person who's advertising a different kind of program or some kind of course that you're not sure whether it's legitimate or not. I hope to see you on the next video.